reckon that goes what? Eight pound, possibly more. I'm glad with that. Now that took me by surprise. I was changing from using a float to putting a swim feeder on because I, was, I didn't have a touch on the float. I was hoping on a, a warm day like this there might be some rud about. And for the species challenge, that's what I was after. But I haven't had a common carp yet. And in our species hunt, a common carp, for f a common carp is counted as a species. So I've got a mirror carp, now a common carp. So that's another one on the board. But so that common was number seven on the species hunt list. I wonder what number eight will be. There's another one. Hey, 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 calm down, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Full of fight. What a beautiful fish. What do you want? I can't feed you, you drive anglers mad. Go go for a swim. Bites have slackened off a little bit, it's a bit later in the day. But I had noticed one thing in the undergrowth. <laughs> Has that been discarded? Has that been left there? Is it broke? Can it be fixed? Is it even worth fixing? That, my friends, is buggered. bright day today and I'm sure when the sun gets up in the sky a bit more it will warm me up a little bit but at the moment I've got a cold northeasterly blowing into my face but it's the first day we've had without rain for about a week I mean not torrential rain it ain't been like how it was before but just your usual constant British drizzle and this is where I am So do you remember that hard shell clam that I chopped up? I'm using it for bait now. Got me trusty baiting needle and I'm just gonna whip it onto that small size six because I am scratching. Monumental problems in this estuary, shore crabs, they are a giant pain in the arse. You know? Last, a fish. It's only a whiting, but you know what? It saved me from a blank because I didn't think I was going to catch anything today. Thank you, little whiting. Let's get this fish back. So that was on a bit of that frozen hard chill clam tipped off with a little bit of squid. I didn't even think the whiting, I didn't even expect to catch a whiting today, I thought they'd all vacated. I mean there's, there's not a lot in there because I ain't catching many but just shows you there's the odd one hanging around. So it saved me from a blank anyway. That's number eight on the species hunt, whiting. <laughs> Over and out. It's early in the morning and I'm on my way to fish a mark on the River Crouch near Canewden. It's about half an hour before the sun comes up. I couldn't think of anywhere else I would rather be at this moment in time. The other day when it was freezing cold and windy 
I didn't want a beer at all. Oh, I've got a bite there. I've got a bite. I've got a bite. Here we go. Well, that was worth getting up for, wasn't it? <sighs> I've weighed it, it goes five pound. I'm just gonna let it go now. The phone's on the back of that, look. Go on. Swim off. He's just laying there, just getting his breath back. How am I happy with that? That one there, nothing. I might have to change that over. I've got another bait there ready to go. So, so I'm just gonna unclip this. So that's basically what done it. I'm giving up hope of catching anything now though because it's really bright but um, I've got some bait to use so I will soldier on for a little while. I mean where else would you rather be? I'm going to start packing up now. So that's skate or Thornback Ray, Roka, call it what you will, was number nine on the species challenge list. So uh, I'm getting there, getting closer to double figures, edging closer to double figures. That's me, I'm done. Just been for a drive. Just searching places out as I normally do. I've just drove past this little pond and I can see a big koi in there. Look, oh, there's loads of goldfish in there. And I can't see a no fishing sign. If I can't see a no fishing sign, that means I can fish here. I don't have to catch one of them big boys, but I need a goldfish for the old species challenge. And I can see a shoal of goldfish in there. Coming back here, coming back here with a rod. I'm gonna catch goldfish from that little place there. <laughs> right, it's early in the morning on a Sunday, but not as early as I wanted it to be. The clocks went forward last night, and I've lost an hour of sleep, so I just couldn't be bothered to get up. 
so I'm here later than I want it to be. But I'm back at this little pond and I can see a shoal of goldfish in there. There's some big ones, I don't want the big ones. I'm just going to throw a little bit of bread. Just going to throw a little bit in there, see how they react to it. to see a little piece of that bread get taken. All I've got to do is put a bit of bread in there with a hook in it and I'm done. But I don't want to hang about here because I don't know how people are going to react to me taking fish out of the village pond. I mean I'm not taking it, I'm just catching it just to have a little look. I've got these fish food in here. I ain't got a land in that one me either, so I don't want one of the big ones. I just don't know, but he don't come along and go, what are you doing? was a bummer, I hooked one and lost it. Here you go folks, that is a goldfish, that is number 10 on the species hunt list, let me get a photo of that. Right, let's get him back. Go on my son, go on, get back. <clears throat> well he's gone and that is mission accomplished, I'm getting out of here now. Proper little fat goldfish that was. That was like taking candy from a baby. Over and out.